Hello, in this video I'm going to show you wildflowers, medicinals, and the sights of Eastern Washington. I caught a little bit of wildlife, not too exciting. But let's start off with these pretty ducks that I have in front of me. They're just going back and forth, back and forth, right in front of me. It looks like they're headed back this way. Are three options here. There's a pink shooting star. I'm gonna bet it's not the one in San Juan. That leaves these two. This one blooms earlier. It's April, when it's blooming. It's first with the balsam roots that I've seen everywhere, and the buttercups. It's the only one that's in the Ponderosa Point ecosystem. And that's what those guys are. Flower has a yellow ring, often bordered by a narrow reddish ring. Oh, I see the red. You're not going to see it because it's not focused. This flower, it looks like a prickly phlox, which is right here. I bet this book says that that flower blooms only at night, starting in May. But there is a tufted phlox that resembles prickly phlox and it's only one third as tall and it has white flowers with a tint of pink and they bloom by the day. So this must be the phlox cespitosa, which is just kind of like a footnote to this flower right here. It's short, it's blooming in the day and it's blooming in April. And this one has a tint of pink. Every place that I've been pretty much has had this flower. This is a grass widow. Blooms from March to April. The grass leg. And this distinguishes it from another one that looks like it called the satin flower because it has pointy petals. This is the arrow-leaved balsam root or spring sunflower. Balsa Mariza Shadatata. And why is it called that? Because it has arrowhead shaped leaves. This is also in many of the places I visited. Pollinators are all over it. I scared a bunch away when they came over here. This is one of the wildflowers that's also medicinal. It's like a bouquet in the ground. Now for the buttercup. There are more than 24 species in Washington. My handy book though describes four of them. I believe this one is the sagebrush buttercup. Ranunculus glabrimus blooms in April. And the leaves have two different shapes. One leaf looks like this, and the other one has three lobes. You can barely see it on that one. Kind of see it on this one. I think this is a yellow bell, Fritillaria pudica. Blooms in April in ponderosa pine ecosystems. The Native Americans ate 
the small bulbs, fresh, steamed, or boiled. Of course, it's nodding. And in the picture, it looks like the stem is purple all the way up. And this one, it's green on top, but there's some purplish on the bottom. Now this one is very common right now in all the places I've visited. This is the yellow glacier lily, Eurythronium grandiflorum. And you know with the last one how I said this one shows a purple stem and the one I found was green? Well this shows a green stem and the one that I found has a purple stem. So maybe the purple starts on the bottom and then as it ages, it rises. You see it's still green at the very tip. So maybe this is just an older version of this one. And then I saw a younger version of this one. I've seen several of these strawberries in different places, but I haven't seen any of them in bloom yet. You can see a lot of leaves. When it does bloom, it'll look like that. Okay, time for the sink foils. This one's not in bloom yet, because it doesn't bloom until May. But I can recognize those leaves. You can see the leaves there. It's like the back side of the leaf. So when it does bloom, it's going to look like that. The city was devastated by the fires last year. This one is the Lomatium dissectum. Blooms April to May. Their range is exposed soils, rocky areas, common roadside plant east of the Cascades. And this one is another Lomatium. This one is the Lomatium macrocarpum, large brooded desert parsley, an early bloomer. That's one of the roots of pines. It's got some purplish stems, rocky soils. Desert parsleys are another group of plants with more than enough problems for the amateur. They are often referred to as lomatiums, and with at least 30 different types, two color flowers, indescribable fern-like leaves, and many identified by the structure of their seeds, which you likely will never see, they are a challenge. 
Many desert parsleys were prized by Native Americans for their large woody tap roots. Although they can be eaten raw, they were usually pounded into flour, boiled, steamed, or roasted. When dried, they could be stored for many months. The large seed heads were gathered as a spice for drinks and food. Dirty white to yellow to purple. I would say this is a dirty white. And finally, this one is the narrow-leaved desert parsley, Lamatium triternatum. So this has long, very thin, nine-segment leaves. So yarrow you can find everywhere, but I'm pointing it out because this is probably the most medicinal plant there is, especially for injuries. This is the plant I used on my scab, my finger here. You sort of still see the fuzz from the leaf. It smells really good. So I suggest that you look up all of the medicinal properties of yarrow since it's not in flower yet we're just looking at the leaves but the leaves can be used as well as the flowers
have a lot of liberty on this lake. Where could I be? Froggy. It's funny, when I first came out here this morning to do my haha, -ha, look at me, aren't I lucky video, or part of the video, there are these dudes and a boat fishing right by this house. And I'm like, really? They had to be here now? But then I saw that they were slowly moving. And so I'm like, oh, I'll just wait for them to pass. It'll be warmer anyway by the time they pass. So this is me, this is where I'm house sitting. I wonder if the neighbors are gonna be like, hey, there's this chick sitting out in her bathing suit on your thing. Do you know who she is? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to use this camera, so some of the photos are going to be blurry. You'll get the idea. I guess this is meant to inspire. You're not supposed to see it in clear detail in a video. You're supposed to go, I can't see. I'm going to have to go out and look at it myself because this stupid girl doesn't know how to use her camera.